So Dipsic is giving really tough competition to heavyweight OpenAI over reasoning model and what is more fascinating is like how it is outpacing it technically. So this is their benchmark and it's very interesting. So according to Dipsic research paper like they adopted reinforced learning with GRPO directly on the Dipsic version 3 based model and that is basically 685 billion parameter model and without supervised fine tuning. That is one of the most important part. Those who know we need supervised fine tuning on the P10 model so that it is aligned with the user preference and uh, safety alignment other stuff so that model can be consumed for the general purpose but they didn't apply it supervised fine tuning and they got deep seek r10 model important part is like the demonstrated emergent behavior where autonomously improved reasoning capability that is one of the most important part also model autonomously increased its thinking time during training developed the ability to leverage extended test time computation generated hundred or thousand of reasoning token whenever needed this all are like autonomous with the reinforced learning without any user preferences and i mean fine tuning so what is grpo is group related to policy optimization it's not a new reinforced learning algorithm and it is used by deepseek math model earlier also and particularly useful in coding math and reasoning type of task so if you see your policy model basically this is uh, your pretend model you can say base model and that base model is uh, used here as a uh, deep seek version 3 base and uh, reference model is basically frozen uh, state of this particular same base model why we need this one during optimization what happened there may be chances of deviation like your probability distribution is deviate a lot with your reference model like your the pretend model and it may catastrophic forget what it learned during pre-training so that's why with the KL divergence uh, KL divergence is used for that one only I mean checking probability distribution of reference model with your policy model and if it deviates much we need to take action during training so this is what reference model is used and reward model is basically when we give input to this one uh, policy model gives input to this one it gives reward and with the reward we do computation and then again with the answer we do all this like uh, reinforced learning so if you take example here uh, one uh, simple question is there 7 multiply by 8 and generate multiple output like uh, uh, suppose we have four step let me solve 7 by 8 with the one step we got answer without a step we got wrong answer we got answer without a step so with that we got reward here like what is correct and what is having clear steps so this is what reward and do uh, like group computation it may be mean median or maybe some other uh, way to compute this one and get that uh, reward like uh, advantage what is having uh, positive relative advantage it will be increasing probability and that is having negative relative advantage it will be decreasing probability and that's how it get trained that's what simple term in grpo